Lori Shaw with Renaissance Periodization. We're going to do a very easy slow cooker recipe. Uh, this is a slow cooker balsamic beef. We love the slow cooker in my house because you can throw everything in and forget it and you can make a ton of protein that comes out really nice and moist because nobody wants to eat dry chicken or dry beef when you're eating it day after day for meal prep. So we're going to get started here. Of course, the star ingredient is our balsamic. So I'm going to add that. We've got some beef broth next. And I always use low sodium beef broth. If you don't use the low sodium kind, check out the box. It just has a ton of sodium. So really go for the low sodium. It doesn't change the flavor all that much. And you know, you're gonna season this in the end with salt and pepper. So you don't have to worry about a lack of flavor. So we'll add that. Then we're gonna go with date syrup. So you guys probably have seen me use this before. It is, it adds a sweetness, so it's sort of like honey, except it's made just 100% out of dates. And I really like it a lot. It's a darker sweet flavor, more like a brown sugar. Um, so we're adding that in. We're gonna add in some Worcestershire sauce and some low sodium tamari or soy sauce. Again, with the low sodium. And some hot pepper flakes just to give it some kick. So you've got some sweet, some spice, you have the tang of the balsamic. This is gonna give the beef a ton of flavor. So we're gonna add all of that in and then just whisk it up really good. Grab your slow cooker pot. This is a really lean um, steak. So this is an eye of round. If you have my cookbooks, there's a page that has a whole list of all of the beefs that are considered extra lean. So I always use eye of round, top round. Um, you can use like a skirt steak or a flank steak. It's not quite as lean, um, but these are nice and thick and they're gonna be in your slow cooker for four hours on high. And when they're done, they're gonna be super, super tender. So I'm just putting the steaks in and then you're just gonna pour this amazing, beautiful sauce all over the top. It's kind of gonna be swimming in it. It's kind of gonna be swimming in the sauce. That's perfect. That's what you want. So make sure all the beef is down in there. Move it around however you need to. And that's it. When this is finished, we're gonna add some fresh herbs to really brighten it up. But that's it. We're gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna put this in the slow cooker for four hours on high. And then we'll come back and show you how it looks. All right, so our beef has been slowly cooking away for hours. And now you're gonna see how tender it gets. So I'm gonna take these pieces out and you can see one piece already fell. So like you can just see how tender that is. Just flakes like nothing. That's just gonna be amazing. And you can use this, like you can certainly eat it plain. I mean, if you get carbs, this would be amazing with some you know whole grain pasta or noodles um you could have this just with veggies on the side sweet potatoes i mean there's so many things that you could do with it it's going to be great to make sandwiches and wraps uh, i will just you know use this a ton of different ways which is great that it makes a lot and here's where you get to stir in your favorite herbs. I'm gonna go on a little tangent about herbs now because I don't want you guys to be afraid of any herbs whatsoever. If you go to the grocery store and it's like, well, I've only ever had basil and parsley, so I'm just gonna get basil and parsley every time. Don't do that. I mean, like get all the different herbs, like just put yourself on an herb schedule. Get like two different kinds of herbs every week when you go to the grocery store. Just put it in everything. I'm telling you, it's like free flavor. You know, there's no macros, there's nothing that you have to worry about, but it's so much flavor. And you don't know that you like something until you've tried it. I mean, if you've never had tarragon, try tarragon. That's what I'm mixing into this. It's not a very common herb. You know, you don't see it in a lot of stuff, but it's so good. It's so good with the balsamic, it's so good with beef. Try it. And if you don't like it, then you know you don't like it. But I'm telling you, it's the best way to get flavor into your foods. And this sauce too, liquid gold. Do not throw out the sauce. Leave it. I will, even if I don't need it all to keep the beef moist, I will set it aside um, and I'll use it to cook in everything. 
Um, you know, I use chicken broth every time I saute stuff because I don't like using, I'm not gonna use oil a lot of the times because I'd rather save that fat for something with more bang for the buck. Um, so I usually saute in chicken broth, but man, as long as I have this, I'm gonna saute in that till it's all gone. Uh, Cause it is so good and so flavorful. I mean, look how beautiful this is. Tacos, pizza topping. I'm gonna do all kinds of things with this. You'll come up with all kinds of things that you wanna do with this. And that's it for like minimal effort. We just mixed up, you know, the cooking liquid threw the beef in, forgot about it for four hours, take it out, shred it, mix in that, that super fresh tarragon, and look at that, gorgeous.